How are you guys doing? Today is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an individual profile on Travis Kelsey. The Elite starting tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs turns 32 today, and my intention with this episode is, of course, to bring light on what he's been able to accomplish and achieve as he has stepped foot in the NFL, even before when he was lesser known as one of the better tight ends at Cincy before he would make his way to the NFL. He would put his way on a track to being one of the best tight ends of all time. And if you're unfamiliar with Travis Kelsey, he sits at about six foot five, 260 pounds. I would kind of really just describe his game as just really being too fast for the strong and being too strong for the fast. And of course, that's a lot of what being the tight, a lot of what that tight end positioning is. And he is able to use that mismatch. And he does have the mismatch of of having Patrick Mahomes compared to any other quarterback and having uh, weapons like Tyreek Hill in your offense that do space the field open for you. And he does. and And when the ball is thrown to him, Travis Kelsey does not ruin that opportunity. So just getting into the type of player that he is, just giving a little bit of background. He's originally from Cleveland Heights, Ohio. He would not leave the state to go to college as he would end up going to play at Cincinnati. Uh, He would go and play there from 2009 to 2013. When he was first there, that was when Brian Kelly had passed the program off to Jeff Quinn before Brian Kelly took the Notre Dame job. In the 2009 season, Travis Kelsey would go on to play 11 games in his very in his freshman season he would eventually just be a he was a pass blocker and they did kind of put him at fullback he did have two rushing touchdowns as he had a reception for maybe three yards um he didn't really get much production but he was able to get a couple touchdowns still in a season where cincinnati would finish with a top 10 ranking they would end up losing in the sugar bowl to florida that year but they were a really solid team his second season travis kelsey would actually get suspended because they later found out that he tested positive for smoking weed Um, and following his sophomore suspension he would come back for since his junior year in his junior year he would go on to play 11 games for a cincy bearcats team that would go on to finish with a 10 and 3 record, they would finish as a ranked team as they went on to beat Vanderbilt in the Liberty Bowl as they finished tied for the best record within their conference within the Big East. In his 2011 season as a junior, he'd only finished with 13 receptions for 150 yards and two touchdowns on the season. But following that season, he would go on to be named the full-time starter. And in his final season, he would go on to set a career high in virtually every statistical category. In his senior season, that would end up seeing him be named first team All Big East. He would play 13 games in 2012 for a Cincy Bearcats team that finished uh, at they they finished as an almost ranked team as they would end up beating Duke in the Belk Bowl with a ten and three record. This is when Butch Jones and Steve Stripling were coaching. In Travis Kelsey's final season as a as a collegiate tight end, in the thirteen games he played, he finished with forty five receptions for seven hundred twenty two yards and eight touchdowns. Following that amazing season, he would establish himself as a good enough prospect to be taken with the first pick in the third round. That would be the third round, the 63rd overall pick by the Kansas City Chiefs. Taking a look at other players that were taken in that draft before he went there. I mean, even players at his position, Tyler Eifert was taken at that exact same position. He was the first tight end taken in that draft. Uh, Looking at another one, Zach Ertz was the first tight end taken in the second round of that draft. So just looking at the other players, Le'Veon Bell was also taken in the second round. Eddie Lacy was taken exactly two picks before Travis Kelsey by the Green Bay Packers. So he was picked around some very solid players. He was picked six picks before Tyron Matthew went to the Arizona Cardinals as well. 
but once he was drafted in 2013, he has played for the Kansas City Chiefs ever since. Um, for the Kansas City Chiefs in his very first season in 2013, he would only play one game in his very first season. He was placed on injury reserved after having surgery on his knee. Um, in the one game, he, or he would not finish with a single reception or anything. He would go down in that game itself. Um, he would... And he would only play a single snap on in week two in special teams. That was really all he did. Um, but in that season itself, Kansas City would go on to make the playoffs at an 11 and five record in Andy Reid's first season as the coach, as Travis Kelsey and Andy Reid did arrive in Kansas City at the same time. And Travis Kelsey's next season, he would go on to actually play for the team. He would start 11 of the 16 games for the Kansas City Chiefs in the 2014 season in a season where they would finish with a nine and seven records, missing the playoffs completely. This is the only playoff this is the only season where Travis Kelsey's been on the team in which the Kansas City Royals or the Kansas City Chiefs did not make the playoffs. And Travis Kelsey, especially especially in this season, would make himself into the starting tight end. He would finish with 67 receptions for 862 yards. He would finish with five touchdowns on the season as people in the NFL would start to at least, they would start to remember his name. And following that season, Travis Kelsey would start to go on a streak in which he would go end up being a pro bowler for every full season after that. The next season, his third season in the MLB or in the NFL, his second full season in the NFL as a player, in his age 26 season, he would start all 16 of the games he'd play for a Kansas City Chiefs team that would end up finishing with an 11 and 5 record. In the year where Marcus Peters won the Defensive Rookie of the Year and Eric Berry won the Comeback Player of the Year. In Andy Reid's third season as the coach, uh, Travis Kelsey would finish with 103 targets. He had 72 receptions for 100 for 875 yards, a little bit on par with what he was doing the previous season. And he had five touchdowns this season. But the only difference was that in 2015, the Kansas City Chiefs would actually go on to make the playoffs. And because they made the playoffs, Travis Kelsey was named a pro bowler for the very first time in his NFL career. Following that season, he would, or I guess, follow, yeah, following the regular season, he would go on to uh, help the Chiefs make it past the Texans, beat them 30 to nothing in the wild card round before they would end up losing in the divisional round to the Patriots. Uh, this was the season where the Broncos would end up beating the Carolina Panthers at the very end. But of course, this would be this first season in which Travis Kelsey would help the team make the playoffs. Following this, this would be this would lead into Travis Kelsey's second season as a full time starter, his third full season as a player, and a four, in his fourth season since getting started. In his age twenty seven in two thousand sixteen, he would start fifteen of the sixteen games he would play <clears throat> for a Kansas City Chiefs team that would finish with a twelve and four record. This was the beginning of their five-year streak of winning the AFC West and this is when Alex Smith was the starting quarterback and this would start Travis Kelsey's first of five consecutive seasons with 1,000 yards receiving by a tight end uh, in his first <clears throat> in his second Pro Bowl season he would finish with 85 receptions which would be a career high for 1,125 yards another career high that would be 13 more receptions and about 250 more receiving yards on the season. He finished with four receiving touchdowns. And at the conclusion of the season, he was named a pro bowler and he was named to the first team all pro for the very first time in his NFL career, being regarded as the best tight end in football, especially in his third season as a starter is a very big feeling. And this is before Patrick Mahomes was his starting quarterback. Following this season, the Kansas City Chiefs would go on to make the playoffs and they would lose in the divisional round to the Steelers. This would be the season in which the Patriots would beat the Atlanta Falcons in Super Bowl 51. Following Travis Kelsey's third full season as with the Kansas City Chiefs. He would come back for his age 28 season in 2017. In 2017, Kelsey would go on to start all 15 of the games he would play in a season where the Chiefs would finish with a 10 and 6 record, winning the AFC West for the second year in a row and making the playoffs for the third year in a row. 
in the 2017 season, which would be the season where Patrick Mahomes would take over for the starting quarterback position. Uh, Travis Kelsey would finish with 83 receptions and 1,038 yards. This would be the second straight season with at least 80 receptions and 1,000 yards. This season, he finished with eight receiving touchdowns, which would be the most receiving, which would be his career high at that point in his career. And then at the conclusion of the year, Travis Kelsey would go on to be named to the Pro Bowl for the third consecutive year in his career, which is an incredible feat to do, especially as a tight end. And even though he hit a career high in touchdowns, he would go on to be named to the second team all pro in the NFL. Um, but regardless, being named as one of the best tight ends in football in consecutive years showed that he definitely was not a fluke. Going into the 2017 playoffs, they would end up losing in the wild card round to the Tennessee Titans. This would, and like I said, this would be Andy Reid's fifth season coaching the Kansas City Chiefs. And this this would be before Patrick Mahomes would start to come into his own as his own player. And by then, Travis Kelsey was by then at least a or was at least a three time pro bowler and a two time all pro tight end. And then by the time Patrick Mahomes started really slinging, Travis Kelsey really started producing. And Travis Kelsey's sixth season with the team, his fifth season in which he played with the team in 2018 in his age 29 season, he would start all 16 of the games he played for a Kansas City Chiefs team that finished with a 12 and 4 record. They would win the AFC West for a third consecutive year. They'd make the playoffs for the fourth time in a five year or for the fifth time in a six year span. And for the fourth time in a row in the 2018 season, which saw Patrick Mahomes win the MVP and the offensive player of the year, Travis Kelsey would finish with 103 receptions as a tight end for 1,336 yards, which both at that time in his career were career highs. So, of course, that would be the first season that he would be able to put 1,000 uh, or 100 receptions on paper for as a tight end. He would finish with 10 touchdowns on the season. That will be the first time in his career he put up double digits. And by then, that was a career high. And at the conclusion of the 2018 season, he was named a Pro Bowler for the fourth consecutive season. He was named to the third for the first team all NFL pro for the second time in his NFL career being named as the best tight end in football again and once they went into the playoffs the Kansas City Chiefs would go on to beat the Colts in the divisional round by 18 and they were losing the AFC championship game to the Patriots because they lost the overtime coin flip and Tom Brady would drive the ball down the field and take the Patriots to the Super Bowl where they eventually would beat the Los Angeles Rams Following his 2018 season, Travis Kelsey would come back to Kansas City for his age 30 season. And in what would be his sixth full season with the Kansas City Chiefs, he would start all 16 of the games he played in 2019 in a season where the Chiefs would finish with a 12-4 and record for the third season in a four-year span. This would be the fourth season in a row in which they would win the, the AFC West. In the regular season as it's in itself, Travis Kelsey would go on to be named to the Pro Bowl for the fifth season in a row. To be named to the Pro Bowl in five consecutive seasons for a half decade is an incredible feat. But looking at what he was doing, he was he was not uh, straying away from his peak at all. He would finish with 97 receptions on the season. This would be the second most receptions he ever put up in a season in a fourth straight season in which he as a tight end put up at least 80 in a year. He finished with 1,229 receiving yards on the season, which then was the second most he'd put up. He would finish with five receiving touchdowns on the year. This would go to be the sixth time or the fifth time in his career he'd have at least five receiving touchdowns. And then he would also finish with a receive with a rushing touchdown of a yard. So he would finish with six total touchdowns on the season. At the conclusion of the 2019 season, in addition to being named a Pro Bowler for the fifth time in his career, he was named to the all to the second team all pro for the second time in his career. That he has not been named to the second team all pro since because you know the between then and now he's made it to the first team but i digress going into the 2019 playoffs with the kansas city chiefs they would end up beating the texans 51 to 31 after they were trailing by at a good for a good chunk of the game they would end up beating derrick henry in the tennessee titans 35 to 24 in the afc championship and then the 
Chiefs, after trailing to the 49ers in the fourth quarter, would go on to win the Super Bowl as I'm pretty sure Travis Kelsey had a touchdown in that Super Bowl. With this win, that's the only win that the that's the only that is the second Super Bowl win that the Kansas City Chiefs have had. The first win since 1969. So of course, that was a very big win. The first win in what 50 years for the Kansas City Chiefs, and of course, Travis Kelsey was a big. A part of the reason as to why they won. This would transition into the last full season that Travis Kelsey was able to play. Uh, his seventh full season in which he started with the team, um, or seventh full season in which he played the full season, and his set in his sixth full season as a starter, and in his sixth full season as a starter, he'd make the Pro Bowl for his sixth straight time. He would go on to start all 15 of the games he played for a Kansas City Chiefs team that finished with a 14 and 2 record. That would go on to be the most regular season wins that the Kansas City Chiefs have ever put together in a regular season. In the 2020 season, Travis Kelsey would go on to be named a like I said a pro bowler for the 6th year in a row. He will be named to the first team all pro for the third time in a 5-year span. He finished with 105 receptions. That would be the most receptions he's ever put up in a season. He's the only tight end in NFL history to record 100 receptions. He would finish with 1,416 receiving yards, which would be the most receiving yards he's ever put together in a season. And he has five seasons as a tight end with over 1,000 receiving yards, which is the most in NFL history. That's his 1,416 receiving yards in a season are the most ever by a tight end. And also in the season, he was able to put up 8,000 yards in the fastest or I guess not in this season yet, actually. Um, but he would finish with 11 touchdowns through the air as well. As, like I said, the Kansas City Chiefs would finish with the best record in the regular season. Going into the playoffs, they would make it all the way to the Super Bowl as they beat the Browns in the first round by five. And they beat the Bills in the AFC Championship by a couple touchdowns. But the Buccaneers proved to be their kryptonite. And in the end, the Buccaneers would end up beating the Chiefs. 31 to 9 in the big game as the as Tom Brady would pick up his 7th Super Bowl of the season and that transitions us to where we are now. Travis Kelsey as of right now is 4 weeks into his 2021 NFL season. Thus far he started 4 games in a season where the Kansas City Chiefs at the moment are holding on to a 2 and 2 record, the worst record in the AFC West at the moment. Um, in the four games he's played, he has 24 receptions for 312 yards as he has three touchdowns on the season. Uh, this season, he became the fastest tight end to ever reach 8,000 receiving yards. And that's currently where we are as Travis Kelsey gets ready to prepare for his next game in the NFL, taking a look at what the Kansas City Chiefs have up next. Next, they're going to face off against the Buffalo Bills on the 10th. Um, that's going to be at night. So, of course, that's going to be a highly anticipated matchup. Big Sunday night matchup. And, of course, many eyes are going to be on Travis Kelsey. And now we take a look at where Travis Kelsey is now as Travis Kelsey is turning 32. He has not, he, he has not missed a step at all. And if anything, I still think he's still one of the best threats and he, he's one of the most threatening offensive players in all of football and he most definitely should be regarded as such um at the conclusion of this episode i first want to thank the football reference websites for giving me all the facts and figures that i needed and of course the nfl websites um i want to thank everyone for listening to all 18 and a half 19 minutes of this piece and if you ever get a chance to watch travis kelsey i'd recommend it he wears 87 for the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's really uh, he's really kind of a tight end for his era. He will go down as a Hall of Famer, and he will go down as one of the best tight ends that the football has ever seen. I want to thank everyone once again for listening to this piece. I hope all is well, and I'll catch you with more once all of today's episodes are done. I will come back tomorrow on Wednesday, October 6th, and until then, I will catch you then. Peace out, and I'll see you then. Have a great day and don't forget to be elite.